So I'm uh, Dr. Amna Sid, and my co-presenter is Dr. Saima Akhtar. We both uh, are part of the core uh, team of Journal of Pakistan Psychiatric Society. And uh, the title of our presentation today is Screening of Informal Caregivers of Patients with Schizophrenia for Common Mental Health Disorders According to ICD. So basically caring for one with a dis disabling health condition forever changes the life of families and caregivers. While helping a friend or relative can be positive in many ways, the effects on caregivers often can be devastating in the form of financial pressures, health problems, psychological and emotional turmoil. The term caregiver basically refers to anyone who provides assistance to someone else who is in some degree incapacitated or needs help. It could be a husband who has suffered a stroke, uh, a wife with Parkinson's disease, a father with Alzheimer's, a son with traumatic brain injury, a partner with AIDS, a sibling with chronic mental health conditions such as schizophrenia. Uh, whereas an informal caregiver and family caregiver terms are uh, terms that refer to unpaid individuals such as family members, friends, and neighbors who provide care. Formal caregivers, however, are care providers associated with the service system or hired uh, by independent providers. So basically, according to uh, California Caregiver Resource Center uh, 2005 uh, statistics show that caregivers serve... Um, are 77% were women, out of whom 37 were daughters, 25% were wives of the persons uh, needing care, 70 were caregivers, 70 of them were married, and 59 uh, years old was the average age of the caregivers. Uh, this is uh, some of the breakup of the same statistics, uh, the diseases that they were seen. So basically, impact on the caregiver, uh, emotional, uh, emotionally stressful, 44% uh, people were shown with people with, um, with dementia and uh, problems other than uh, dementia, 26%. Uh, interrupted sleep, physical strain, financial hardship, and excellent or very good health were only shown by 36% or 44% of the people respected. So the objective of this study was to screen mental health of informal caregivers of patients with schizophrenia presented at a psychiatric outpatient clinics in Karachi. Uh, the methodology is uh, all consecutive and uh, consenting cases presented in psychiatric OPD of a public hospital with their schizophrenic patients were included in this study after fully explaining the purpose of this study and assuring confidentiality. Informal caregiver was defined as an unpaid individual, which would be a family member who provided care to the patients. The assessment was done using a semi-structured uh, form designed uh, for this study along with application of GHQ-12 questionnaire. The positive cases were followed up by application of hospital anxiety and depression scale. Caregivers having history of chronic mental illness or previous psychiatric treatment were excluded as these conditions may affect the results of the study. So the results showed that total uh, patients inducted in the study were 47, out of which 19 were male and 28 were female. Age range between 16 to 71. And uh, the standard deviation, mean age with standard deviation was 44.7 plus minus 14.91 years. So this is uh, the uh, breakup of uh, the mother tongue of these caregivers, informal caregivers, out of which, because it was conducted in Karachi, so uh, Urdu speaking uh, were shown to be the most um, percentage, followed by uh, Hinko, Punjabi, and others. Now the educational status was um, literacy rate of 14, whereas uh, 14 people, sorry and the rest uh, as can be shown and people with masters were the least. So relationship with the patient, uh, in, in this study uh, it shows 36% um, were mothers and 15% uh, were sisters which would be the female uh, caregivers whereas 17% were fathers and 17% um, were brothers. So the comorbidities present, 11% uh, of them showed hypertension. Uh, other than that, 8% with diabetes mellitus and 13% with others, and whereas uh, no uh, comorbidity was seen in 68% of the people. Uh, 
So it was observed that in 36 point um, 17% of the informal caregivers had positive GHQ scores. The cutoff uh, would be two. And uh, a hospital anxiety um, depression scale revealed 31.9%. We males were 26.31 and uh, females were 35.71. So conclusion of this study is that the study revealed the informal caregivers of the patients with schizophrenia are not just vulnerable to psychi uh, psychotic disorders, but can have anxiety and depression as well. The results are comparable to the previous study by Mirza and Jenkins, where they have found that anxiety and depression is prevalent 34% of people. Uh, so mental health of informal caregivers slash relatives of schizophrenia patients is important to achieve comparatively good prognosis. Therefore, a large multicentric study is required for proper estimate of the gravity of the problem so that the appropriate intervention strategies can be developed accordingly. Thank you so much for your time.